Hi, this is Subhash Patari, Global VP of Sales at Cipal, and I am really excited to be part of this month's Tech Talks with Cipal. Well, as you all know, Gen AI is currently the buzzword or hashtag everywhere you see, right? But before we deep dive into what Gen AI means for the business landscape, I'll just give a very clear uh, interpretation of what it actually means. Generative AI is a catch-all term for deep learning language models which when give, you know which is trained on a lot of unstructured data and once these models are trained any prompts or input questions that you give the responses would be in a much more conversational and contextual manner which mimics human expressions or human and the unique thing about you know these models is because they're so close to you know how humans interact with each other this kind of technology is very easy to adapt understand as well as implement now that we've got that out of the way, let's look into you know what could be the potential business use cases of Gen AI. Right? I'm sure all of you have used ChatGPT or any you know or GitHub Copilot, any of these Gen AI platforms. Right from the start itself, you know you could see there are huge amount of business use cases, very obvious business use cases. We ourselves at CPAL want to use Gen AI to really cover through a lot of raw customer feedback out there on review platforms not just for us, but our customers' competition as well, and profile them according to that. Apart from this, the potential for Gen AI is huge and it can be transformative in the customer support industry. You can run 24 by seven customer support, thereby cutting down your uh, resolution times and increasing better engagement with customers. And one more very important uh, application of Gen AI we think we could use is in marketing. You could create beautiful, hyper-personalized marketing campaigns where you could really profile your customers because of the Gen AI based machine learning and also use Gen AI's ability to really develop personalized content, right? So huge amount of uh, use cases. I mean, you know, apart from this, you have, you know, a lot of use cases in legal industry, pharma industry and so on. But definitely Gen AI is not without its challenges. Implementing Gen AI models, you know, there is a huge chance of the models throwing out a lot of falls outdated and uh, discriminatory form of responses. Moreover, you know, these models are typically never trained to say no, right? So even in case where, you know, it doesn't really know the answer, it will give out an answer in spite of it being incorrect. So I think we really need to be the biggest challenge right now, uh, you know, to the business industry, obviously, as much as evolving this technology is also to figure out what is a safe and scalable approach to implementing you know, Gen AI. So I think that's it from me. Thank you so much.